Hey everyone, it's Christian. We're back again with episode four of the Axe Fire Studios Classic Riff series. All right, here we go. Today we're gonna to be going over the main intro riff from Barracuda by Hart. The riff starts out with a galloping rhythm. It sounds like this. Okay, so that's just your low E string. What we want is to actually palm mute the notes. So we're gonna take the edge of the hand, the karate chop part, and we're gonna lay it vertically in line with the bridge saddles. So what you want is just a little bit of the skin of your hand to rest on the string at the very back end of the string so that you get a, a little bit of a bass resonance and a more percussive attack with each note. Uh, so you wanna be careful that your hand doesn't go too far towards the neck like I just did. Uh, if you do that, you'll hear that you, you actually lose the note eventually. So you wanna stay away from this area and make sure that you're just right here in front of the bridge saddle. You'll know if you're doing it correctly if you can still hear the note, but you get that percussive attack on top and the bass really swells underneath each pick attack. So too much, not enough, just right. Okay, so like I was mentioning, it follows a galloping type pattern. And uh, to produce this, what we're gonna do is uh, basically just a repeating pattern of three pick strokes. We're gonna go down, and then down, up. Okay, so that's just with your low E string, like that. So when you repeat that over and over, it'll end up sounding like this. I'll do it uh, at a fast tempo, and then we'll slow it down. All right, and a little bit slower. So the way that you count this is one for the first downstroke and then and uh for the down up. So you want to count one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a. So you're counting to four and then to three with this pattern. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a. And then we have these two power chords. Okay, it's just a basic standard power chord shape. Second fret on the low E string, first finger. Third finger goes on the fifth string, fourth fret. Then we're gonna take the pinky, put that on the fourth fret, just like the ring finger, but that's gonna be on the D string. Okay, so we're gonna play this chord. And then we're gonna move up a half step to the third fret, and we're gonna play this chord here. And really, that's most of the riff. After that, we're just playing some harmonics. So let me demonstrate what we have so far, and then we're gonna go over how to do a harmonic and what to do there. Okay, here's what we've got. Okay, so at the very end, I played what are called harmonics, natural harmonics. So to produce these, what we're gonna do is lightly touch the string with our finger, just above the fret. So these can be produced at the 12th fret, the seventh fret, and at the fifth fret. They're found all over the guitar neck, really, but these are the most commonly used spots because they're the strongest here. So at the fifth fret, fourth and third string, initially, and then we're gonna be covering the third, second, and first strings. I'm just lightly touching the string directly over the fret wire. Careful not to press, you know, if you press, then it's not gonna come out. Just lightly touch it. And playing those all at the same time. <laughs> okay, so. This last little thing is a, a bit of a whammy bar dive. So uh, what they do in the song is they play around with the whammy bar in slightly different ways every time they play the harmonics. So basically what you wanna do is just get the harmonics ringing.
and use the heel of your hand to push the, the whammy bar down. What this will do is it'll create slack in the string, causing the pitch of the string to go down. And it sounds really cool if you do this with harmonics. Okay, we'll wrap it up there for this week. Hope you have a great time practicing this riff. And yeah, if you have any trouble, comment, send me a DM, or you could even email lessons at axefirestudios.com to book a lesson with me. I do Skype lessons and guitar technique coaching too, if you really want to go deep with uh, how your hands work and making them work in a more efficient way. Okay, thanks so much. We'll see you next Sunday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for episode 5 of the Classic Riff Series. Take care.